This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. If I right click on a virtual machine in my Hyper-V Manager, go to Settings, and click on Memory, we have a new option here for using dynamic memory. That's Minimum RAM. So previously we had Startup RAM and Maximum RAM, and whatever we configured for the Startup RAM, that would be the minimum that this virtual machine would use on the host, or at least have reserved on the host. So if we configured it with 2 gigs of startup RAM, then even though that virtual machine might only be using, let's say, 512 megabytes once it got started up, it would still have that 2 gigs reserved on the host. So we are kind of wasting a gig and a half of memory. So if I go back and let me just shut this virtual machine down here. And go back, edit it settings, go to memory. Now I can adjust the startup RAM. So let's say this virtual machine, we want to make sure it has at least 2 gigs when it starts up. We normally don't want to set this too low because when a virtual machine starts up, it normally needs to access you know more memory than it uses when it's just idle. And down here, if I have enabled the dynamic memory checked, you can see I can set the min minimum RAM lower than my startup RAM. So when this thing starts up, this virtual machine, it's going to use, or at least reserve, 2 gigs of memory, or 2,048 megabytes. Then once it gets started up, let's say it's idle for a while, it's going to start releasing memory back to the host through a process called ballooning. So ballooning makes pages in memory available to the host so that they can be used for other virtual machines. So now if we have that virtual machine that starts up, okay, it's using 2 gigs, then it gets going, it's not really doing anything, it's kind of idle. It's really only using 512 megabytes of memory, so it's going to release memory back so that that memory can be used for other virtual machines. This way we're not wasting that gig and a half of memory so if that virtual machine is only using 512 megabytes and of course if this virtual machine gets busy so it starts using more RAM it's gonna start reserving or getting more RAM from the host up to the maximum RAM assuming that RAM is available on the host it's important to note though that we can only use this dynamic memory with certain guest operating systems so we can't use it for like Windows XP or something like that Windows XP would only see what we have configured as the startup me memory. So in this case, if we had Windows XP guest operating system running on this virtual machine, Windows XP would only see 2 gigs of memory. It wouldn't even be able to use these dynamic settings. Also, we need integration services installed on the guest operating system. Operating systems that do support dynamic memory are going to be Windows Server 2012, Windows 8, Windows Server 2008 R2. It has to have Service Pack 1, though. Data Center Enterprise Standard and Web Editions. Windows Server 2008 R2, Data Center and Enterprise Editions. Windows 7, only Enterprise and Ultimate Editions. Windows Server 2008 with Service Pack 2. Windows Server 2008 with Service Pack 2, Data Center and Enterprise Editions. It's important to note that if you're using Windows Server 2008 with Service Pack 2, you need the hotfix here for standard and web editions. Windows Vista with Service Pack 1 only, Ultimate and Enterprise Editions. Windows Server 2003 R2 with Service Pack 2, Data Center Enterprise Standard and Web. Windows Server 2003 with Service Pack 2, Data Center Enterprise Standard and Web.